Welcome back to another edition of Eat My Shorts right here at the ranch here. Smoke me a lucky strike, sorting out the world's problems. One slow drag to a time. You know, life's funny that way. We can remember things and we can forget things and all other points in between. And it's funny because a lot of the things that you and I grew up with, if you're my age or older, I'm in my mid-30s, even though I'm a crotchety old man, are in history books now. Did you know that? Remember the day they played Nirvana on the old V's station when you're in the car and you're like, fuck, that wasn't that long ago. A lot of us are being phased out as redundant, right? You know, back before everybody was gay during the month of June and uh, run around like a bunch of AIDS-filled piss goblins and rainbow flag assless chaps, people had some sense of decency in public, and uh, I kind of miss that. You know, long gone are the uh, days of Sergeant Stadenko and his porno mustache and his mighty Smith & Wesson, the problem solver. <coughs> You know, people run around on the streets, pissing and shitting everywhere, like a bunch of rabid fucking baboons. And, uh, I know for a fact in my dad's day they wouldn't have put up with that, man. They'd have had Sheriff Bull Connor show up and, uh, give them a real hosing with a fire truck and a fire hose. Uh, hear the mighty fire truck right now. You know, the interesting problems that, that come up in history and the way people have thought to deal with them really excite me. You know, the Civil Rights Movement wasn't just a bunch of peace-loving earth children and hippies, you know. It was a bunch of bad hombres that were blowing shit up and spreading lefty communism everywhere, man. And yet all we remember is some cheesy fucking songs from the 60s. Some of them are pretty good, you know. I mean, Mama Cass died choking on a ham sandwich, but, I mean, yeah. Life's a little complications that way. You know, Jimi Hendrix took too many damn second alls after he drank all day and took acid. and He thought he was just going to have himself a nap and wake up and have a sandwich. And Jimmy didn't wake up. You know, a lot of these same drugs are used in assisted suicide now, and even in the uh, lethal injection cocktails. Now, that's another thing that really pisses me off. You know, the death penalty used to be a public affair, right? And it still is in the Middle East. You wonder why they don't have Gay Pride Month in Jordan, Lebanon, Syria, places like that? That's because the Muslims will cut your fucking head off, you know? Now, we here in America, a lot of us are boozed up infidels, and, uh, you know, we do infidel things like packing iron and smoking in public and, you know, doing other adult-related activities. And I don't care if you're gay, straight, kinky, don't matter to me. It don't matter what color you are either. You know, we're all, we're all astronauts here on the planet Earth. Although me thinks they're, uh, an infestation of lizard folk around. And I'm pretty sure there are fucking aliens and not the kind that anal probe Jeff Bezos when he rides a cock and balls to Mars. <clears throat> that was a glorious day, wasn't it? When Jeff Bezos rode a cock and balls to Mars. How hmm? many of us cracked jokes about that and still find it funny? What they should do is they should load up all these uh, extracurricular infidels that come up with ideas like Gay Pride Month and uh, shoot them into the sun on a cock and balls rocket. Maybe paint it rainbow flag colored, you know. Make it politically correct. Lay the ambush, the booby trap, right? And yes, all the good traps in life have boobies. Nice boobies. And, uh, I mean, boobies are awesome. Shout out to boobies. And I ain't talking about birds either. You know, the soft language in life has made so many people so fucking weak, and it's important to people like me to keep up the tradition of uh, hard talk and rough speak, you know. 
But what the fuck do I know? And as always, as my lucky strike burns my fingers and I'm running out of ideas, uh, have a wonderful day, man. Don't let the shit drag you down. Just remember, Jeff Bezos wrote a cock and balls to Mars, man. And probably got anal probed. Much like the gay community is doing to one another right now and trying to do to our children. Uh, they're probably anal probing each other, too. Although with a different context in mind. And as always, if you don't like the Wednesday edition of the shorts, um, Wednesdays are always days full of shorts to eat. And uh, I'm sure I'll have second or third helpings by bedtime. And I'll leave you with the immortal words that crime pays if botany doesn't. Uh, have a wonderful day. Go fuck yourself and bye. And as always, keep calm and stay classy.